first person singular, views expressed are those of the author. Lori Gordon remembers her sister. My older sister Julie was quiet and tall and thin with impossibly long legs. When she got cancer late in life, she seemed to get even taller, like a stork so light and thin it seemed that she could lift off and sail away. But she was sturdy in nature. One day I took her to the library. As she was floating up the steps, a young man with a petition approached. I wanted to say, Can't you see she is not long for this world? Leave her be. But my sister stopped and listened and signed the petition. When she lay in the hospice wing of the hospital, my younger sister and I made chains of origami cranes in the Japanese practice of making 1,000 cranes for healing. We hung them all over her room. There was one nurse who loved my sister, probably because she was so quiet and strong and real. She told me that the day she died, Julie had said something funny, and they both laughed. Then an hour later, the nurse found her gone. The nurse asked me to teach her how to make the cranes. The next night, we sat together at a table, making paper cranes, a bowl full of them. We corresponded for a while. Once, she sent me some origami paper. My sister loved ducks and geese and collected little sculptures of them that sat on her shelves at her burial. A flock of geese flew like the wind overhead. These things one cannot forget. Lori Gorn is a writer living in Santa Cruz. If you would like to share your opinion or stories, send 240 words to First Person Singular at ksqd.org. For First Person Singular, I'm Matilda Rand.